Hi everyone, and welcome back to part four of how I paint my fair skin tone dolls. And in particular, this is for a very super peachy kit. In the last video, we left off, or I left off, um, doing the veining on this baby. And now that the veining has been baked, I went ahead and I worked on inside of her mouth. Um, I did this with one color, so I painted the mouth, um, or the lips, um, the tongue, and then the roof of the mouth. And then I went ahead and I also shaded around the head so that I can give her a defined forehead. Um, this is what I do for my biracial babies, so I decided to do this also for my Caucasian babies. And then another thing I did was I blush the fingertips, the palms, um, the bottoms of the feet, the finger, um, I mean the toes, um, the elbows, and the knees. And now the doll is ready for another round of baking. After the doll has cooled down, the next thing that I'm going to do is mottling. So I created this brand new mottling sponge. And if you guys want to learn how I make my mottling sponges, go ahead and click on the link in the upper right hand corner. And that'll guide you to creating a mottling sponge similar to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and use a very pinky color for my mottling. That is one of my favorite colors to use. And I'm going to go ahead and model the whole arm avoiding the inside of the hands um, and another color that I do love to use is more like an orangey um, orangey mottling color and I like to use that more on the pale vinyl so the vinyl that comes naturally extremely ex extremely pale um, but for my peachy kits I like to stay away from the orange just because it tends to turn peachy dolls peachy faster after you've neutralized them it's like magic um, so I like to use more of a, a pinky tones for peachy dolls and again it is time to bake this and I don't like to work on top of mottling because I'm afraid that it'll uh, lighten or rub off so I go ahead and I bake the doll before I do anything else and this is what the doll looks like after the baking. She is looking so, so cute. And I'm gonna compare her next to my skin tone. I am Hispanic, so I am a little darker, but um, that is just a comparison and idea of how light she is. I did notice that her hands and her feet were getting a little bit shiny, and this happens after consistent baking um, it is a little bit common for a reborn baby so I'm gonna go ahead and use matte varnish and this is straight matte varnish and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and bake it and I'm already baking the torso so I'm going to apply this again on the hands and feet of the baby doll now we're going to move on to a super lengthy process at least for me um, and that is adding life to the baby. As you can see, the baby is very, very pale. So I like to work with pink tones, yellowy tones, peachy tones, but not so peachy for this doll since it's already a naturally peachy kit. And then um, I also like to work with a, a bit of brown tones to give life to the baby. For this baby, and it is actually different for all of the kits that I paint, but for this baby, I decided to start off with the this uh, pinky, light pinky color that you guys saw me applying to the sponge, and I'm going to go ahead and sponge it all over the doll. You wanna make sure you get in between the fingers, um, just apply it all over the doll. There is no part of the doll that you shouldn't apply it to. And for the face, it is going to be the same thing. I'm going to apply it all over the face. I'm not going to show myself applying it to every part of the kit, just to certain parts of the kit, just to save on time. After I'm done applying this pink layer to the entire doll, I'm going to allow the doll to dry. And then I'm going to add another color or another layer on top of this pink layer. I will not bake this layer. I actually like to add about three layers of paint or four layers of paint before I bake. Again, allow each layer to dry before adding the next one. So for this baby, the next color that I'm going to add is this very light 
light color yellow um, it is the white yellow and you can buy this already pre-mixed and then after applying that I'm gonna go back to my first pink layer and I'm going to add that to the doll and this is what the doll looks like now I went ahead and I allow the layers to dry and after that I bake the doll and she is looking so adorable oh my gosh I'm absolutely in love so I went ahead and I added another layer of camera and if you can guess, can you guys guess? It is a pink layer. So I went ahead and I did another pink layer on this baby and this is what she looks like so far. Oh my gosh, loving her. So now I did a series of three paint washes and this is what she looks like now after those three washes. And those colors are a light yellow, a red orangey color, and finally, a yellow color. So this is straight yellow, yellow Genesis, I believe it's called. And this is what she looks like now. I hope you guys are starting to see that she is coming to life. It is very slow, very lengthy, but it's definitely changing. And I also colored her tongue a little bit darker. And my goodness, she is looking so cute. Here is another shot of this baby and now I'm going to compare her to my skin color so you guys can see how she is definitely darkening up or warming up I should say she is going to remain as a Caucasian baby but you can definitely see her progress and I am absolutely ah I am absolutely amazed by her progress In the last clip, I don't know if you guys noticed, but her fingers were looking a little bit yellowy. Um, you guys can go ahead and rewind to see that. So I do not like that very much on my baby. So what I went ahead and I did was I added a bit of pink all over the finger. So it darkened it a little bit and it got rid of that yellowy tone. And it looks now more even and it flows nicely with the coloring in her arm. Now here is a full shot you can see her torso, her arms, and her head. And I went ahead and I did two more layers of this pinky color. As you can see, it is definitely a favorite when it comes to her. Just because of her vinyl color, it just goes very well. So do not be alarmed also with her right foot. I know it looks a little bit like bent or folded um, at the feet, but it's going to be perfectly fine. It's just the way that the um, it's just the way that the vinyl was made. It, it's doing that, but I promise you, she will be perfect when she is done. And once again, here is a comparison with um, my skin color and her skin color. Here I went ahead and I added some socks just to give her that realism of a built baby and I think she looks so beautiful. Since I'm done with the coloring of the tongue, I went ahead and I glossed it and I think it looks like a real little tongue. I am gonna be taking photos of her, um, which I will be showing those at the end of the video and to give her that realistic effect, I decided to gloss the tongue. So this is why I did it so early in the process, but you don't have to do it so early um, as well. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys her photos and I really do hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Please leave any comments, please subscribe, please like the video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.